Now it's often been said that for a relatively budget bike, the Suntour Hesk electrical system on the Carrera Vulcan e-spec is maybe too complex for its own good. Now essentially it's trying to be a bit too clever at the price point at which Halfords and other retailers sell it for. Now much of the issue boils down to the relationship between the complex design and the limited build budget for the bike, which invariably leads to design flaws, and there are a few key ones on this bike which really do frustrate me. Now, one of these is the torque sensor on the chainring casing. It's what Suntor call their ATS crank, as you can see on the website here. Now, torque sensors are clever, don't get me wrong. They make the experience of pedalling an e-bike more satisfying, more rewarding, because they can sense how hard the rider's working and apply assistance accordingly. It's a bit more intuitive as an experience, because the power delivery is smoother than, say, a cadence sensor that you get on a really basic e-bike and that makes the experience almost as authentic as pedalling a regular bike. You still have to work through the gears to suit your terrain and gradient, obviously with the assistance, it just feels smoother. Now I haven't ridden the Vulcan for a while, however when I did recently dust it down and get on board to go for a ride I was greeted with an error code, it was an error code that came up as E21, I'd not seen that one before. So consulting the Suntour Hesk online manual, you can see that this code translates to a torque sensor electrical problem. Now when I took a closer look at the torque sensor, it was quite obvious what the problem was. As you can see from this close up of the torque unit, which are removed from the chainring assembly, one of the wires forming part of the loom which plugs into the battery pack had actually been clean severed. You can see the yellow cable here. Now that's a big problem because if all of those wires are not connected then that torque sensor unit is not communicating with the battery and with the motor so the system dies and effectively the bike is rendered useless all for something that's partially exposed and can easily break. I mean really easily, that's a serious design flaw from Suntour. Now that severing of the wire was presumably caused by one of the plastic anti-rotation lugs breaking clean off as you can see from the screwdriver here. Now this is a particular bugbear of mine on this bike, that piece of design is just lazy, it's cheap and you can see that that part has been built down to a price that's caused a real issue. Plus you can see the wires are partially exposed there, that should go fully into the torque sensor unit. But like with the cables that go into the battery, they're also loose and they're a weak point of that system. You can see there the circuit board fully exposed. That is actually set into neoprene within that plastic torque sensor casing. However, for the purpose of this video, I've decided just to take it out to show you what the unit comprises. To be honest, I'm not going to be able to repair this. I don't have the expertise to do that and I wouldn't trust myself to waterproof it sufficiently afterwards, even if I could get a replacement cable which I don't think I can. So you'd think the first port of call for spares would probably be Halfords, given that they're the stockists in the UK for Carrera bikes and the Vulcan e-spec. However, you have a look through their website and realistically there's not a huge amount of assistance to be had there. We know that they sell spare batteries, even though they're not advertised on the website here, uh, but they've got chargers and for some reason e-bike tyres, uh, which are not even e-bike specific. Um, so not a lot of joy to be had there. So realistically, what you then need to do is go back and have a look at the Suntour website. Now I ploughed through this website for about half an hour looking at spares, suppliers, stockists. There isn't really a huge amount of assistance to be had if you're looking to buy parts direct or any accessories. Uh, now the Suntour website is not really geared for that and Suntour as a whole uh, seem to be a supplier that sells wholesale uh, rather than to the retail sector. So the next logical step seems to be to go through to Suntour's European or worldwide headquarters um, for the service contact. You can see here there's a few different contacts but I think the best bet here and certainly the course of action I'm going to be taking is to email all three that you can see the European headquarters and the service center and also the Belgian branch which would be the nearest to me in the UK. Now for those interested I've again posted a link to the Suntour Hesk manual that you can see here and that's below this video. 
it's really useful and I'd recommend that anyone that owns this bike has that in their possession. Now it should be packaged with the bike but seemingly isn't for whatever reason. So please knock yourselves out, have a look at that and uh, print a copy off, well worth it. Anyway guys, as usual, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel and help grow our community and I'll see you again shortly in another video.